Date range and reports or dashboards are used to fine tune them to show the data for a particular time frame. This fine tuning of the report lets us choose the start and end date of the report based on the specific date range. So in this tutorial, we are going to learn how to provide start date and end date filter options from a single date field using parameters. So without any further delays, let's jump straight into it. Welcome back, this is Gurpreet from DataWiz Canvas and in today's tutorial, we are going to learn about how to provide start date and end date filter options from a single date field using parameters. So let's connect to the data source. In this case, I have already connected to Sample Superstore dataset and let's create a dashboard first. So let's bring the product to the row shelf and let's bring sales and let's change the chart type to a bar chart. And I would like to see categories and subcategories together, or we can only use subcategories. So let's remove categories and you can see all the cat subcategories and we can show the labels and we can do it. Um, we can do the sorting in the descending order. So now you can see we have the sales by subcategories, but this is for the entire period. We just want it for a particular date range. So if we bring order date into filter shelf, you can see we have range of dates, right? So, but with this range of date, you can select whichever date range you want. So I will select OK and I will go to show filter. And you will see here when we do that, we will have the date range here. So you have to drag and you can select the dates, right? And you can also select here and you can choose the date which you want. So in this case, if I want a particular month, I can go to that particular month and select the date range and you will see it that way. So this is using filter, but in this case, we want to use parameters. So how we can do that? So for that, first of all, I will remove the order date from the filter shelf and I will create a parameter. In this case, let's say select start date as a parameter and data type, I will keep it as a date and I will simply select, okay. So in the current value, you can change the dates if we don't want 2022 or 21, because in this data set, I guess we have the data till 2021, so we'll select that. And we will create another parameter for select end date. And in this case, we will also select the data type as date and we will keep the date as, let's say, the same date, for example. And then we will show these parameters so we can see which dates we have selected. In the start date, we can bring it at the top and we can change the date whichever we like, but when we select that, you will see nothing happened because there is no filter conditions which is linked to these parameters. So I will go to create a new calculated field and I will say date range and here I will say the order date is greater than or equal to start date and order date is less than equal to end date. So what it will does is it will filter out the data only for the rows which have this condition as true. So all the records where order date is greater than or equal to start date and order date is less than or equal to end date will be shown in this particular worksheet. So let's bring the rate range and you will see here it's a Boolean expression so you will get true or false. So I will select true in this case and select OK. You will see the data changed. And here you can select, let's say, instead of June, we select July. The numbers will change just based on that one. But now the challenge is every time I open the dashboard, I want these parameters to be defaulted to a particular date. So for example, I want to see just the last week of the sales, right? So how we can do that? So for that, we need to edit these parameters. And in that parameter, 
when the workbook opens, we have to select a particular value. So right now it's the current value, which is this one. But I want it to be changed to a particular value. So for example, if we are talking about today, then the start date will be today minus five days or six days or seven days for a particular week. But if we are looking for a particular month, then we will do the date prong function and get the first date of that month. So let's try how we can do that. So first of all, I need to create a calculated field. And here, I would like to find a maximum date value. Because for example, if we have not loaded the data for the last month, so we need to use the maximum date in the data set, right? Otherwise, if we use today's date, there will be no data because we haven't loaded the data for last one month. So that's why it's always wiser to use the maximum date in the data set for these parameter values to be defaulted at. So in this case, we will simply use fixed. This will give us the maximum date irrespective of any filters, dimension filters we have applied. So here I would like to see maximum of order date. And this will give us the maximum date. So if I go here, edit parameter at the end. So when the well workbook opens, I will go and select maximum date, which will give me 30th of December, 2021. So by default, that will be the maximum date. But now I want just for the last week, right? So what I can do, I can go to maximum date and create a duplicate field. And here I will go to edit and change the calculation just to so show maximum date minus seven days. So what I will do here, I will use a date add function and I want to add minus seven days to go back seven days, right? So I will just use this calculation. So it will just do, it will give the maximum date and then I will subtract seven days from that. And I will select, okay. And then I will go to start date calculation and I will edit the parameter again. And when workbook opens, I will go to max date minus seven. So you will see here, from 30th of December, it subtracted seven days and gave me 23rd of December. So that way, by default, it will always, whenever you open the workbook, it will always give you the data for the last week. And same thing you can do if you want the data for the last month. So how you can do that? Instead of doing max date minus seven, so we will duplicate that data as well, duplicate that calculation, and I will edit it. And here I say max date, first day of the month. So I'll change it to one. And instead of date add here, I will use date trunk. So I will remove this. And here I will use date trunk function. And as you see here in the date trunk function, if we go here, it will ask us to put the date part. So in this case, I will put month, right? And then we will just do this. So what it will do, it will give me the first date of that month. So let's apply, okay. And if I go to edit the parameter, and instead of doing max date minus seven, I will say max date first day of the month, and it will give me first of December. So that way you can default it to first of the month when the data is loaded or whatever is the data loaded for whichever month, you can select that particular month. And you can use the same date trunk function to change the value to the quarter or for the year and make the selection default. So that's how you can use the parameter to select a date range and filter out that particular date range. I hope you guys like this session and if you have any questions, please feel free to reach out. Thank you.